What's up, guys? This is D.U.M.B. Universe, and the main and only reason why that I was reacting to Star Wars Force of Evil episodes one by one, you know, part A and then B, was mostly because I wanted to put in some stuff for the holiday weekend, and I was correct. I only had time to make, like, two or three videos when I was down there in New Orleans, so I was lucky to, enough to plan ahead of, uh, ahead of time to give you guys that content, but I think right now things should be slower on my channel due to school picking back up. But since now that the weekend, uh, the long weekend is done, I can now start uh, reacting to the Star Wars Force of You episodes at both Part A and B, mostly because I'm just trying to get uh, done with the series at this point, since the series is still going on. But since Beta Week is coming uh, coming up, like right after the end of uh, Star Wars Wars of Evil, I'm going to make sure that, you know, the, these reactions get out uh, relatively, you know, within January, hopefully. So... Yeah, uh, for, for, for that just being said, head off the link in the description below. This is going to be the last episode, last time I'm doing it at one episode format, considering I already watched the part a, uh, episode A, so it would be kind of weird for me to just react to the... You know what I mean. I'm not going to stall you for too long. Let's go. 3, 2, 1 now. Episode in, in, uh, episode concludes with uh, what what will seem to be more top line. We have certain we have certain threats uh, in this series that I'm really interested in see how they're gonna like you know really play out. We got the whole thing with Star that's going on with her wand that it sometimes glitches out whenever she has negative connotations and emotions, which I'm pretty sure is gonna come to play later on. Got Ludo being a genuine threat that surprises me to this day. Uh, and now Buff Frog knows about his uh, newfound powers and abilities. All he needs is the book to be truly masterful with the wand, and this is the first time I'm truly seeing that the wand has its own mind and currently telling him what to do, not to do, and how to use him and stuff, which works out in the long run when it comes to Ludo. As for the loyalty standpoint, I actually thought that the spider and bird would not be truly loyal to him. I just like, as soon as they find a perfect opportunity where he's powerless, they would take it, but nope. Truly loyal and impressive with that. Means Ludo really has like the like connections and stuff that truly keeps him around. That's 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 good progression there. As for other stuff that that I'm gonna be seeing, since I'm gonna be doing two episode formats from this point on, like the next the next reaction that should be posted up tomorrow, uh, will include like both episode A and episode B. And if I can find it quickly, I can just say now, right now, until a next episode comes out, I have episode 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, yeah, all right, well, I'm just going to get started with that. And about Beta Week, for those of you who are still wondering about that, since it's not out yet, Beta Week is when I'm going to be reacting to four, maybe five uh, other series that I have either been asked or I find interesting. And then... Uh, after you get done watching them, you tell me if you want me to continue this series as a long-running one as, you know, like, you know, what I'm doing with Star Wars Force of Evil. Since I'm still waiting for, like, you know, the next season of My Little Pony and other stuff to come come my way, I have other things I can put into the time slots of my reaction-based stuff. I have, I could say them, but, you know, I'm just going to wait for Beta Week to start on that. I don't know when Beta Week is going to start, but just know it's coming. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this is the one be Universe. See you guys next time.